What is up YouTube? We are back with another show and tell and this one is just okay. We're gonna get through this quick. I'm gonna try and make these quicker than they normally are so I'm not gonna talk as much shit. We went to the stomping grounds, the my original stomping grounds from where I grew up, Mandra. So we're gonna have a look at what we got from the ride along from Mandra. It wasn't the greatest rip, it wasn't the greatest rip, but let me show and tell you anyway. So let's do this. Let's do it. Let's show you what we got from down south. Down from Mandra Town. Let's do it. Come on. I said I don't want these to go very long anymore, so we're gonna try and make them as quick as we can, then we'll show you the kitty because the kitty doesn't lie. First of all, we had this tarot reading fucking CD. This was 50 cents, bargain. We'll get $15 for that, easy, easy $15. Plus they'll pay their own postage because fuck them, they should pay their own postage if they want shit. 15 bucks, maybe I should listen, maybe I should listen to this. I wonder what cards I'll pull. How do you know what fucking cards you're gonna pull anyway if it's a CD? Maybe this is some fucking like evil fucking shit. I bet not. And we got Puzzle Mania, the CD-ROM Puzzle Mania. When you're fucking in Coronaville, when you're stuck inside, put this on and you can do a puzzle because it's Puzzle Mania. I will get 10 bucks for Puzzle Mania. Uh, Diablo 2, I'll cover up the uh, key code there so no one can read it. Uh, Diablo 2, uh, no box. Just the game should be about 15, 15 bucks there, easy. And these CDs were all 50 cents each. Uh, we got sealed. This is sealed. Uh, Play school celebrating 50 years. We'll get 10 bucks for that. Um, sealed. It's got uh, such songs as "I'm a Little Teacup," "Short and Spout." There is a bear in there. Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard. Repubzel, repubzel. Let down your pubic hair. I don't fucking remember that one. Uh, this game, Hexen 2, 50 cents as well I picked up. Should get about 20 bucks for that one. Uh, looks like an alright game actually as well. Old school one actually. But yeah, Hexen 2. And the last uh, 50 cent CD was Starcraft. Starcraft, what did I write down? I said 15 bucks for Starcraft, so we should get about 15 bucks for that one. This was $1. Kenny vs. Spenny Season 1. This is the best fucking show ever. It's Canadian. It's funny as fuck. I recommend if you've never seen Kenny vs. Spenny, watch this show. It is hard to get as well. It costs you a bit if you try and find them. Um, I don't know what happened to all. I had like, I had like uh, four seasons on DVD and I don't know where they went. Uh, I lost them years and years and years ago. I will sell this though because I've seen them all. I should get about $35 for this one. Um, back when they first came out, I remember I paid $50 each uh, season from Canada. Kenny vs. Spenny, such a good show. I got three VHS tapes which were 50 cents each. I'll get 10 bucks a piece for these. So we got Norman Gunston. If you don't know Norman Gunston, who he is and all that, he is just a fucking dickhead. Uh, he's not really, he's funny, but he's not funny. He's a fucking, just an, he's a dickhead. So we get 10 bucks for that. Uh, we'll get 10 bucks for Mental as Anything. Uh, I think it's live in concert. No, it's all their fucking, uh, it's all their, music video clips, but mental as anything, they'll go for 10 bucks. I think one had sold for 15, but um, I'll be uh, undercutting the other people that are on there. And The Witches. The Witches always sells for me. This is always sells. If you ever see The Witches, pick it up. Uh, 50 cents into 10 bucks, you're laughing. Anyone that says uh, videos that uh, don't sell, well, obviously they don't know what they're doing because they haven't done research. And if you don't want to do your research that, about something to sell it, that means you just don't want to learn or you're just... Uh, too good to learn something new. Uh, Dora the uh, Explorer. Hello. How you fucking doing? Fucking Dora. Oh, she might have had an incredible shit all about the little boy. So Dora the Explorer, 50 cents. This should pick me up 20 bucks. Easy. Dora Explorer stuff goes all right. Fuck off, Dora. Oh, shit. I got this Power Bitters tray for $3. It's a beer tray. I've never heard of this fucking beer before, so I had to look it up. Um, one is sold for $35, so I'm predicting $35 bucks i will get, plus they'll pay for their own uh, shipping. Um, it's pretty cool. I've never heard of the beer. Uh, the beer mustn't be around anymore, so that's pretty sweet. Um, Power's bitter. It mustn't have been a very good fucking beer. 
because it's not on the shelf anymore. Uh, for 50 cents, I found this uh, Phantom 1997 Diary. Nothing is written in there. It's all pretty good. It's all in really good condition. I should be able to get about 20 to 25 bucks for this. So I'll just put 20 in the kitty for this one. Uh, pretty good. Um, look, it was 1990, 1995. It was 20. It was 20 bucks to buy back in 1997 anyway. So you're getting a fucking bargain. You're getting a fucking bargain. So not bad, 50 cents into 20 bucks there. Some phantom lover will love that. Not all phantom stuff goes good too. Uh, for $2, I've got this naughty, this big naughty classic book. I know it was two bucks, but uh, kids books sell better than novels. And I can prove that shit because people like vintage, vintage cartoon books, people like vintage uh, old school stuff that they grew up with and people are going to buy that for their collection. This should go for about 20 to $25. Um, not a bad cool little naughty book. Unfortunately, Mr. Big Ears is on the front there before he got caught for what he did to Naughty. Uh, that'll go $2 into 25 bucks there. And more comics and cartoons because like I said, uh, these are what go. Um, this was $5 and this was a steal. Um, this is all eight uh, original classic Transformers uh, comic books that came out and they reissued them and um, they put it into like a box set, like a video, like a video case box set and um, and yeah, I should easily be able to get 50 bucks for this, easily be able to get 50 bucks for this. Um, Transformers, it's more than meets the eye and uh, definitely pick up uh, comic books and all that if you find them because you can lock them up and do all sorts there. Last two items uh, before we get to some other fun stuff. Um, I found for $5 and I kind of wish I didn't buy it. Is this a bowl? No, a bowl? No. Uh, but it's a very nice shirt. It's a uh, Manchester United dry fit uh, jersey. But Manchester United stuff does not sell that much. Uh, richest fucking club, I think, in the uh, world. Who knows? Uh, but 25 bucks I'll get for that uh, Man United shirt. Why am I folding it up? Fuck Man United. Fuck Man United. Go Wofford. And last but not least, um, we got uh, this Gremlin shirt. Now, I, I think this might be one of those fucking JJ shirts or whatever from the JJ's, but it's a Gremlin's Christmas shirt. Um, that will sell for 25 bucks easy. Uh, easy, easy, and that will sell around Christmas time as well. Piece of piss, and uh, that will get me 25 bucks from five dollars spent. And remember, this is all before uh, fees and taxes and blah 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 blah, all that fucking bullshit. That is all I got uh, from that thrift, but I spent $26.50. Um, I won't put these two one dollar records that I found on on the. Uh, on the total there, so it was still $26.50, should have been $28.50, but I found uh, Kamal Dream of Love, because this is for my Kamal collection, and we've also got fucking um, Somebody Loves You by Kamal. Uh, look, look how happy he is. Look how happy. Oh, he signed it. Did he fucking sign this? Is that a real signature? It is. It's a sign by Kamal. Happy birthday. Who the fuck? I can't tell what name that is, but he's written happy birthday, I think it's J-A-W, Jaw, or something. Anyway, Kamal. Kamal signed this one. We have a Kamal signed record. Brilliant. So that goes into my collection of the Kamal shit. Signed, that's how much we treat fucking good Kamal shit. Okay, so, we spent $26.50 on all those items that we just showed you. It's time to bring up the kitty. It was a bad, it was a bad trip. We went to a few stores and it wasn't that great. The kitty, how much this week are we going to get? Come on, kitty. Mm. $350. $350 from $26.50. You can't argue with that. Could have done better, kitty, but you can't argue with that. Now, fuck off, kitty, you fucking whore. I've heard people calling you a whore again, kitty. Now, fuck off. Fuck off, kitty. Now we're not finished yet, because at the end of the ride along, I said I went to my parents' house and I went through the cupboards. Now, when I went through the cupboards, uh, it's all up there. I found a whole heap of Ninja Turtle toys, old vintage ones, they're mine to keep. But also I found in the cupboard, uh, which I'm gonna sell, and this doesn't go in the kitty, because uh, uh, I, I didn't get it from a thrift store, but uh, it's pretty cool to show. Um, this WCW vintage uh, Slam and Crunch wrestler. So that's Conan. I'll get about $35, $40 for that one, so that's pretty cool. The best part, the best part that we found is this old war tin. This old tin. 
in my uh, dad's uh, cupboard. And in this tin, in this tin, we have cards, cards, cards. We have cigarette cards, cigarette cards, cigarette cards from the 30s. From the 30s. Now, I've gone, I've started going through them. I've started going through all these cards. And um, I have found a, a shitload of Mr. Donald Bradman cards. Absolute cool. So, these are all from cigarette and bubblegum packets. A whole heap of Donald Bradman cards. If anyone's interested in seeing a video of going through all these fucking cards, just put it down in the comment that you want a separate video for this shit. There you go, chewing gum, Donald Bradman cards. These are all worth 100 bucks each I can get on eBay. And I have got all these ones in just this little baggie here, are Donald Bradman ones. So I'm happy to do a video if anyone wants to see any Donald Bradman stuff and all these cards. Where the fuck did I put the lid? But this was show and tell to show you what I got from the thrift shop, not what I got from my folks here. $350 in the kitty, you gotta be happy with that. Click like, subscribe, do what the fuck you want. It is your life, I cannot tell you what to do. But go support all your Australian, all your Australian uh, YouTube channels, which is great. On Instagram as well, if you want to uh, go on there. I've got a signed Kamal record. I've got a signed Kamal record. I'm gonna write, I'm gonna write Rob over the top of uh, whoever's name that is, so I'm gonna fucking put that up there. Maybe I'll put that up there with my Tabasco sauce and two Kamal cassette tapes that I've got up there. For my Kamal collection because uh, we're getting a Kamal collection. We're getting a Kamal collection. All right, guys. Uh, let's see. I, I don't know what my next video is. It could be something random. It could be something. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It might be just the next ride along. It might be a live. I don't know. But click like, subscribe, do what the fuck you want. I'm out of here. See you later.